Wings. <laughs> Throw it, no. Because <laughs> it's the controller. Yeah. Yeah, let's fire. Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing Bound. Right? Yeah. Bound. Um, I'm going to sketch him a notepad. We, we, we've played this before already. You guys have already seen that if you've been following us. Uh, we're playing in VR this time, though. You can really see the details in the sketch pad up close. Yeah. yeah, it looks like they scanned some fucking actual ink pen shit. Mm -hmm. I love this game. Alright, so I'm going to play one more video of this so I can explain some stuff. That's Steam. Yeah, okay, so this is Steam. That's paper. paper. I actually might play paper because it'll explain the out of order storytelling I was talking about. That's Pearls. Yeah. That's called Tree. Tree would actually work too. Uh, and that's shout, probably. And that's shout. I hate shout level. It's cool to shut them up, though. I, I think we played shout first or something last time. Because it happened to be, uh, like, you turn all the pages to the right, and then it's like, oh, I can play this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, if you've watched our videos, basically, Steam is the level where the kid burns himself at the end. Uh, paper airplanes is you or you and your sister are trashing your mother's room and throwing paper airplanes all around it. Oh, is that what happened? Uh, uh, Pearls is the one where the uh, mom and dad are yelling at each other and the necklace gets broken. Yeah. Uh, trees is you're like in a you know, like in a garden or something. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a it's like a room full of plants or like wherever your dad keeps all his trees or something. It's like a greenery. And, and that's the one where your brother blames you for... Is it Your brother's not supposed to be in there. You walk in and tell him he's not supposed to be in there, and then he breaks a plant and blames you for it. Oh, uh, I didn't catch that either. Yeah, it's way, way... We weren't paying any attention. And then shouts the, where your dad's screaming at you. See, and... I thought the shout the mom screaming at you. No, it's definitely the dad, because it shuts him up. For the rest of the game, if you play shot first, and that's the other. Thing and what is, it is is each of these traumatic events, like uh, you get over it. We we weren't paying enough attention when we were playing the first time, and it was so all the monster figures when we were playing, we thought are their dad or mom. <laughs> well, I thought they were always mom. Well, no, the big one's dad, but I mean the the big the big monsters clearly dad, like the big male looking one, and then the one floating around with the dress is your mom. But uh, your brother's one of them also, which you'll be able to tell in this one. Your brother has a different look to him than your dad, but it's subtle. So that's your mom. So this is the one. Uh, this is the one stage where it's not really not your dad or your mom's fault. This is the one where it's like uh, where you kind of blame yourself because like anybody can cause problems. Basically, is what it's telling you. Right. You're both sort of at fault for being, you know, normal kids, but just getting in trouble. Right. And kids don't fix a marriage. Right, 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 right. Which, for some reason, we've never figured that out. <laughs> well, remember, we were, we were joking about... Uh, uh, in the other video, we originally were joking about, like, what the fuck's up with these polygons attacking us? <laughs> yeah. But there are, there, are, there are tons and tons of paper airplanes is what they are. See, that was your brother. Ran Climbing off the up the tower? Yeah. Oh, your dad has, like, nothing to do with this episode, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> oh, this is the one that turns the world upside down. Get ready for Bonnet Central. Yeah, fuck you, game. Is that rough? No, it's actually not that bad. He did it nice and slow, though. I think also because it didn't show, it didn't show the world flipping that because it was so zoomed in. Yeah. It was really zoomed in. They probably did that on purpose. I mean, oh, this is one that has a cool Oreo music. Too. Uh, that's your dad. Is he shouting? <laughs> Your dad's always shouting at you. Uh, if you shut him up by playing the shout level first, he'll just kind of look at you and walk off, and you don't have the whole where she's like getting yelled at moments. Yeah. 
Uh, I basically broke the game here when I tried to play it. Did you see that tower it? over in the distance? Yeah. Like, you can hit a switch that lets you get over there. Uh huh. But, like, if you don't have the steam turned off, you can get trapped up there. And I, I had to start the whole game over again. Oh, wow. There's a switch over here that gives you a path to it. And it totally fucked me. I had to play the whole game again. I only played like one level. It's like literally the first level I did. But uh, cool. what, see that where the yellow is? Shoots yeah. out steam and you can't get up that walkway. Because it says your fears are blocking the way or some shit. Uh, this is also not where I'm supposed to go. Come down and around. But I, I basically soft blocked the game. Couldn't get, couldn't get any further and I couldn't get Superhero back. landing. Yeah, that's my fault. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that super jump's really fucking useful when you start getting to where you don't want to fucking pick rounds. This stuff. game could be really fun to watch in speedruns. Yeah. I'm sure somebody out there is fucking good at it. Uh, yeah, these little, collect these little collectibles are fucking, uh, like the mosaic pieces that show up at the end of the level. That sort of, they, they sort of added the story too, they kind of give you like a picture of your family usually. Right. Yeah, see, it's your little brother uh, throwing airplanes. See? <laughs> it's really hard to catch that when you're playing it the first time. Oh, uh, and... Because you, know, you have to like kind of almost stop and think about stuff. Recording see, that's your brother. Talking. He has like the one horn, that's the easiest way to tell him. I mean also play it for the first time while you're recording and talking and... Oh yeah. Only about mm -hmm. a quarter of the way paying attention to what's going in the game, on in the game because you're trying to... I, I prefer to just dance up a shield for all this crap. You can also kind of dodge through them, but... For me, I dance up my shield and just fucking make off. <laughs> right. It really makes sense. I see, like, there's multiple paths. Like, if you can't do these jumps, you can just fucking walk along here. I'm not trying to collect the collectibles right now, so I'm like, whatever. Dance through the trees. Well, that's just kind of swaying through them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> It's gonna be hard going back to playing this game normal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was still walking up, but I was watching him. So we never really got into paper airplanes really that much growing up. We did play them with them, but we got really into uh, shooting the paper at each other. I remember that. We'd have freaking those wars, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Where you make little like paper footballs and shoot them at each other. Yeah, we didn't do I didn't like footballs. So your brother the ball walks in on this and starts yelling at you because you guys are throwing paper at your friends. Woo! I don't know where I'm at. Oh, this is where he throws you on the paper. Yeah. Airplane. Your dad your dad shows up and starts yelling at you. So basically, this is all supposed to be like a metaphor for you being naughty kids. So you have a fear of paper airplanes or whatever because of it. Or, you know, like a traumatic event in your life. See, like, if I would have done Shout first, I wouldn't have to worry about Dad yelling at me. Right. Some of her traumatic events feel really made up. <laughs> I don't know. I actually thought differently because some of them seem so, uh... They don't seem like stuff you'd write. But I felt like they might be some of these real something that you actually went through. Yeah, I, I don't see that. Especially, I mean, I, the steam on the stove seems like something pretty common. Like, you know, well, that's a whole kid thing. burning themselves on stoves, but yeah. The uh, paper airplanes in the bedroom thing seem kind of like weird. oddly specific. Yeah. You know, the camera just flipped on me right there. Yeah. That's what happened. I That's why I was telling you to go the wrong way. Yeah. 
fuck, this is cool. I'm so, sorry, I've never played this game outside of VR again. Are those lines supposed to be the pearls? Oh no, the pearls are pearls. I think those are the vines for the tree level. So if you beat the tree level, that might not be there? Yeah, I think that's how it works. The tree level is a whole uh, different thing where they, uh, like, the kid, oh, well, the, the brother, the brother blames you for breaking a, a potted plant. Yeah. And he wasn't even supposed to be in there. But what I'm saying, though, is, I mean, definitely, it's, you're coming from a broken home. Yeah. So, but, like, all the problems in this game, like, the family problems, definitely feel like petty broken home problems well yeah i think that's what it is though is it's like uh you know death by a thousand cuts like no yeah. one's at fault right but you sort of like you, people go through divorce differently they blame themselves they blame family they right blame the mom they blame the dad you know right but what i'm saying though is like where like but nobody ever just kind of accepts that people just get sick of being around each other sometimes yeah like you got married too early. It's actually uh, one of the harsh, harshest things that happens in the game is that when you get to the end, you ask your dad why he left. He just says, because he can. That's all he says. He says, why did you leave us? And he's like, because I could. That's it. <laughs> that's is fucking, that what he said? Yeah, that's pretty I was so it. tired to, you know, like, by the time Yeah, we, that's the scene. That's the scene. Um, you know, by the time we finished this, we've been, pl we've been playing. We'd been recording for like four or five hours at that point. Which is why, like, I told you, like, when I replayed it, I fucking left the dad. <laughs> I was like, oh, whatever. Yeah, I think we're gonna go back and play this again. I feel like this would be a really good kind it's so of... so cool in VR. I feel like, like this... It gives you such an immense, like, depth of space and shit, because you can look up and, you know, see shit in the background. I feel like this would be a really good game to play with your significant other. Like, a real good conversation, like natural conversation about relationship you know without feeling like you're being forced to talk about your relationship yeah man. I mean do you agree or disagree uh, I don't know what you're talking about I said uh, this would be like feel like play with your significant other I and, guess like, really give I, you I already told you it's emotionally draining I'm not sure you want to drag it other person into it. Well, I mean, like, not necessarily sit there and play the entire game at one time. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like it, would, it, it could definitely lead to a good natural conversation as opposed to, like, force talking about relationships. Because that's real hard to do. I mean, to talk about. Especially when things feel like they're somewhat right, but yet, I mean, everybody still has... I have no idea what I got an achievement for right there. A little bit of... That's probably just telling me something's installed. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Thanks for the chimes. I mean, no relationship's ever perfect. <laughs> the world building watching it in VR is a little, uh, kind of feels off. Um, it so, you so close it's, to it? It's based on a, uh, oh god. The, the world crumbles and comes together based on how close you are to it. Right. Like, automatically. Right. Well, I'm saying, though, is it, it doesn't, it, it feels off when you're, when it's pulled this close. It's about the only thing that doesn't feel right. Uh, it feels right in VR. <laughs> does it, it feel, makes any sense. Does it, it feels fine. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem right when you're watching it, though. That's about the only thing that's felt off. Is the, uh, when the, when the ground's coming in, you feel like there's, I don't know how to explain oh, it. Oh, I could have figured this out. I mean, I could figure it out. Like, I know what I need to do. But it was too fucking hard. I gotta give up. Oh, lame. Superhero landing. Well, like, it, uh, there's clearly more collectibles up there, but whatever. I tried that for like 10 minutes and it was like, fucking game. Oh, so the superhero land. Oh, there's another ladder. <laughs> with Deadpool? Yeah. Did you hear they announced they're gonna make, they're making a Deadpool adult cartoon? Neat. Yeah. We on, I think, FX. 
there's clearly a whole special area up there. Yeah. See that? I never noticed that. I actually noticed that. I think that's a... I think you have to kill the pearls to get up there. Yeah. Because I bet you can't get up there with the pearls. These are pearls. I bet it's all... Oh, it looks like you go jump from that to that. Which you, you probably can't climb up there with, until you knock the pearls down. Though. Right. Whee! You can also soft roll the when you jump, like you can roll to keep it from doing that thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that. That's pretty awesome. Woo! Fly now. Yeah, that's and that's how you speedrun them. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say that's clearly what they're gonna be doing to speedrun. It's yeah, speedrunning is clearly gonna ruin like all this. There's the collectibles. Oh yeah, that's you can cool. see they like add to it. It almost makes it Usually dark. the game takes control of the camera and stuff right here, so when you come around the corner it like focuses in on it. It's almost more funny. heartbreaking because it shows like a happy moment. Yeah. Well it's showing the dad toss the girl up in the air. Which has nothing to do with the actual cutscene. Well there's it used the shit out of me when I was uh, airplanes. Yeah too. Okay, so Wow, one of the reasons I need to go to a real level is to explain the whole getting over the fears thing. The uh, the flow of the game is you come in the levels and then it it shows the the scene that shows like the trauma, just this, and then you do the dance that gets you over your fears and you kind of like rise above it. Right. Yeah. See the this is so much closer to your face than it is in the other version. <laughs> Uh, see, the boys just fucking wreck in this room, by the way. Like, there's like a, there's a plant over here that's like getting knocked over. Oh, yeah, and see, then, we uh, didn't... It's like, you can tell it's the mom's room, because you, you start looking around, you can see there's like, it's like an office. And there's like crumpled yeah. up notes and shit, so... They're clearly in like the parents' room, just fucking wrecking shit. And it like, might have been like, paperwork and stuff. Yeah, sort of a... Something you'd assume. Either way, even if it's not paper that she needs, you're still, you know, in your parents' room fucking using a lot of paper. Right. Not to mention, like, look, there are vinyls on the floor. See, yeah, we just flew, see, we also just flew through this. And you know, yeah, no, I totally didn't remember the scene the first time I played it. Because I, I kind of remember that. And then she's. Well, I think I got. I got a. I was. I was like, oh, she's in the closet, and then that's it. Like, I wasn't really paying attention to anything. <laughs> so, you like, the, the daughter's sort of more timid than the boy, kind of, like, hiding in this one. Yeah. And just like, oh, also playing. I like how the world kind of comes together, but doesn't completely come together. Yeah. And then, uh... So there's those sequences that happen each stage, and then you sort of dance to get over it. <laughs> get over your fears, or whatever. And once this triggers, that ribbon that you get on pops up. Which should be really interesting in VR. What are you talking about? These little things. These are sequences. Oh, it's like yeah, the yeah, yeah. weird yeah. emotional music situation. Yeah. When you ride the ribbon. Yeah. So that that's the flow of all the main levels. It's like the the mosaic. Then the, you learn about the fear, and then you dance to get over it. And then there's like a uplifting ride through the level. I forgot how most. That's why I told you this game was like. I was like, man, this, this game was tough to go through again. Dark. You start paying attention to everything, you realize how much of a uh, how much emotion they put into it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm in the mind. I like this one the best because the paper airplanes follow you around. Yeah, I don't think I'm in the mind state to play through this right now. <laughs> 
on my own. You can uh, do like this to go down though. Yeah. Or you can uh, do this to do like a high step. Yeah, I remember you doing that. It's kind of cool. That's about it. This is what this sequence definitely is uh, good for VR since you don't do anything but on the regular game. <laughs> right. The regular game, you're just like riding a ribbon. There's really no gameplay here. Woo! And then, uh, what this second cutscene is in each of the levels, it keeps piecing together the actual splitting up part. Which yeah. is like this one probably. I'm not sure if these are uh, tied to the level or if they're in order. I, I can tell you immediately as we do this. Right. Um, but this is what the whole red door was. It's like this is like the the part where they divorce, or like he walks out. Yeah, I think the first. I think if they're in order, no matter what, like it's always the same four. Because the first one's always just the door opening, and then uh, that's the that's the cutscene that eventually shows like the daughter, or you know, yelling for her dad, the dad walking out with his Luke suitcase. Right. Oh, I also think the uh, the storm thing was true. The storm rolls in and rolls out through the game, and depending on what order you play in, it'll be storming during the game. Oh yeah, that's right. And then, uh, yeah, it, it it affects with the the way the levels look. There's some like 200 different combinations of game you can play based on the uh, the storm and all the different stuff. Yeah, the storm and the fear being on or off. I mean, it's it's not. It's 200 different versions, but like. It's like saying there's 200 different versions of ice cream, you know what I mean? Right. Like, well, next time on Dusty Gamers, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, <laughs> comment.